Violet. And I'm her dad. And today we're going to make... Lasagna! <laughs> yeah. Our ingredients are... We have mild Italian sausage, ground chuck, shallots, parsley, basil, grated parmesan, mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese. Today we're using no boil gluten-free pasta and our marinara, plus salt, pepper, and a cooking spray. Oh, why don't we dice up these shallots? Okay. Turn it on to medium. So we put our ground beef, our shallots, and our sausage into the pot on medium. And now we're just going to cook it until it's brown. We have our ricotta cheese. Why don't you taste that first? What it tastes like. Yeah. Okay. So let's season it so it tastes better, okay? Mm -hmm. You remember Chefanade? When we roll up our basil leaves mm -hmm. and slice them real thin? Mm -hmm. Well, let's do that. Let's add basil to it. Okay. You're going to roll them up real tight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sure. It's a good looking one. So by the end of this, we have real fine threads, right? Mm -hmm. We'll put those in there. Okay, then we're going to throw some parsley in there. What do you think? Okay. Okay? You remember how to clean parsley? Yeah, you can do it that way. What I do is I just use the knife to cut off some of the leaves and you can go through and pull the stems on afterwards. Mm. Oh, I'm making a mess. Mm -hmm. Mm. Is that our clean pile over there? After that, okay, and it goes. Now it's gonna taste like herbs and nothing. So why don't we throw some Parmesan cheese in there? 
You think that's enough Parmesan? What else do you think we should put in there? No, that's for later. Do you want to use a spoon to mix it up? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to use your hands? Okay. Now this is a step you don't have to do. You can just use plain ricotta if you wanted to, but ricotta doesn't taste like anything. So I like to add stuff to it to give it some sort of flavor. At least some sort of flavor. Some sort of flavor. What do you think, you wanna give it a taste? Mm, I don't wanna give it a taste. I'm scared. Can't be scared, it's cooking. This is how we learn. Yeah, get it all off. You can lick your fingers. Why not? They're your fingers. You gotta wash your hands anyways. Nice job. Mixed all the way through. Okay, I think our ground meat is done. We'll taste it to see if it needs any more seasoning. We're just trying to break it up into small, regular sized chunks. Does that need anything? Or you leave that like it is? I don't put much seasoning. Little seasoning? Okay. Hold out your hand. Put a little salt in there too. Because the ground beef doesn't have any. There. Throw it in. Mix that in too. That salt might, might seem like a lot, but it's supposed to cover all of it. Yeah, and the ground beef doesn't have any in it, so it's not going to be so much. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Let's try the marinara. You gotta actually taste it. This needs to be heated up. That's right. But since we're gonna bake it, we don't have to heat it up. Okay? We have a casserole dish, which is this. Let's Put some pan spray on there. Not too heavily, otherwise it would taste like that. Okay. What you want to do is get the sides and the corners. There, that's good. Step one is going to be some marinara. Throw some down there. It's going to keep our pasta from sticking. Okay. Lasagna does take a always surprising to me amount of marinara. Okay, you ready to get your hands dirty? That's good. That's good. Ready to get your hands dirty? Not really. All right, sounds perfect. Let's put a layer of pasta down. There you go, nice. Yeah, they break, huh? Um, I prefer the fresh pasta sheets. You can find them frozen or you can find them in your refrigerated section. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, of the no boil stuff, but that's what we have, so that's what we're using. Okay, we put some some of our meat products. That's very little. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with a heavy amount of it. You like that? What do you think? Okay, time for the ricotta. Now we're not gonna get an even spread. 
So I usually find it's best if you do it in clumps. I think that's good. All right, let's throw some mozzarella on there. Just to help glue it all together. All right, throw some more marinara on there. Seems like all the good stuff is in the middle. <laughs> well, when it bakes, hopefully it'll expand throughout all of it. Maybe another ladle full. Okay, now let's put another round of pasta on it. Yeah, smash them down a little bit to spread it all out. There you go. Mm. Okay, great. Do you remember the order in which we put it all in? Sauce, spaghetti, okay. uh, then meat, and then, no, no, yeah, meat, then cheese, then more cheese, okay. then... Throw some meat on there. Then more pasta. Okay. Or spaghetti, whatever these things are. Lasagna. How many layers do you think we're going to get? Okay, now what? This? Yeah, that's good. And then probably need a little more. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it all to glue together. Keep going. So it's always a good idea to cook this, and then you're going to have to let it rest. You're going to put a piece of parchment paper or a plastic wrap over the top to keep the cheese from sticking. And then you put aluminum foil Why? Why? to keep the paper or the plastic wrap from burning. But why do we do this? Because it needs to steam and cook through. If we didn't use a no-boil pasta, um, I don't think we would have to do it this way, but with this stuff that we're using, it's kind of important that it does that. Because the only thing we really have to cook is the pasta. Everything else in here is already done. Okay, let's throw it in the oven. What temperature is the oven at? The oven is set to 350. Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit. Check on that in about half an hour. Set a, set a half an hour timer. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay, 30 minutes. <laughs> now it's time to check our lasagnas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what the top one looks like. We also made a vegetarian one. Right. How do we make it vegetarian? 
We just need them. That's it. Where's Charlie? For once he's not laying down. Oh. That does not quite look done to me. Stop it in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't feel done, does it? Think you're having a hard time getting through? I feel it. Okay. Yeah, not quite. It should be real soft to get through. So, back in for how long? You want to try 15? Well, as soon as I get this in the oven, set the timer. Just checking on the lasagna, Charlie. You're stinking up the oven. Okay, so we're checking out the lasagna for the second time. Then we're checking. It's done. Okay, let's check out the vegetarian one too. Okay, watch out! Ha ha ha! Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Done? Feels good. Feels, looks like it's soft. Done? Okay. Then we're going to allow this one to cool. <laughs> yeah, you can try to do that. How about this guy? Right in the middle. He needs a little bit more time. A little bit more time? Like how long? Feel it. Especially those two middle ones. I think it's done, my love. Look how easy the mac goes through. Yeah, I guess. I think these are done. So then we just let them cool. Yes. We're going to let this cool so that it is able to be eaten as well as able to be served. Yeah. So yeah, essentially, that's lasagna. How long do you want to cool them exactly? Probably 30 minutes to an hour. It's going to be hot. Thanks, my love. Thank you.